There's flip flops at the customer. And pajama pants, those are stylish. Been working on backing up for some time. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. Teamwork. Talking about some teamwork. There's some bonehead truckers for you today. Hey, which one of you gonna be future Swift driver? Not me. Not me. I don't wanna end up on bonehead truckers. <laughs> Well, you got up on there anyway. Welcome to this week's edition of Bonehead Truckers of the Week. This is a place we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. If you don't hit it, I'm going to put you on Bonehead Truckers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You don't want to be there. All right. Yeah, cause it, it it ain't it ain't cool. It's no bueno for caca. All right, I'm just saying. And you can you got videos, pictures you want to send to see on bonehead truckers. As always, you can send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address. Or join our Facebook group. Say no to bonehead truckers. That's our Facebook group. Link is in the description. You can just upload your pictures and videos right from there. Okay, either way, it all works out. Don't be all tailgating there, peoples. All right, we don't need no dang on tailgaters out there. That's how bad things happen. Bad things happen when you tailgate. And, and trust me, if, if you're going to go and try to intimidate someone to, to by tailgating to get them to go faster, it don't work. All right, it just don't. They're right here, you got the same dog gone that's close. That's no point. And look at here. Hey, we got these old fellas. I love these shots right here. Oh look at those big old toes right there on the dash. I hope nothing hope you don't blow a steer tire doing that. I'm just saying. Usually that's in a Volvo. In a Volvo. Kinda like this right here. In a Volvo. Yeah, go put your freaking foot up on that daggum dash. All right, yeah, looking like a daggum hero. <laughs> I mean to tell you, I mean to tell you. Look at old Walgreens. Now that's not very nice there, Walgreens. That's not very nice. I know you got to get your Tylenols to the stores. But uh, uh, that still wasn't very nice there, Walgreens. <laughs> you got Western Express taking a leak right here. Then he's going to act like, oh, really wasn't taking a leak. <laughs> I really wasn't taking a leak. I'm going to act like I'm back here working. No, we saw you sitting there taking a leak on the customer's property. Yeah, that's not very professional. No, it's not. It is mad in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, be, be telling him, bro, but he doesn't listen to me, guys. See? This is what happened. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who's these old fellas up on my screen? Oh, yeah, those are those T. RC freight guys. Those look like some good old guys right there to go work with. Let me just tell you. Yeah, yeah, just like what they said there, their little sign back there it says there it says our partners keep 88%. Alright, so if you're an owner operator out there, okay, you own your own truck, go out there and look up those guys. TRC Freight, TRC and me.com. Doggone self-dispatch. You choose your own daggone freight. And, and, and listen, and they got medical benefits available. Fuel discounts and everything. Those guys sound like a hoot to go work for. All right, I'm just saying. TRC and me.com for more information. Yeah, go check those guys out, man. Those guys are good deals. Like, hey, man, I know it's tough out there, but doggone TRC, man. Uh, they got fuel discounts and all that kind of stuff going on. So, hey, get out there. Give them a shot. Tell them I sent you. All right? Look at old Schneider doing a freaking 
A freaking U-turn, Schnatter! Hey, Schnatter! Hey, Schnatter! Do you even trucker, bro? That is a daggone question. Oh, this don't look good. I'm seeing some signs right up here. 12 foot 4 inches. 12 foot 4 inches. That's 13 foot 6 inches. Let's see what happens. You, th you think he'll make it? I don't think so. That's the reason why he's here. Oh, just like a freaking can opener. That's all that is. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it as soon as I saw ah, this Ah, shame on the mess. Oh, my goodness. Take out this old poor driver right here. He's going to go over there and I don't know what happens. If, I don't know if he blows a tire or something. But he just takes so Yep, he blows a tire. This is what happened. You see that smoke right there? Blew a tire. Doggone. Don't put your feet on the freaking, on the freaking, uh, uh, on the freaking dashboard. Because anyone can blow a steer. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh-oh. Don't do it. You're going to do it. I know you're going to do it. He, he didn't even have it. Didn't even have it. Ha ha ha. Look at you. You're funny. I don't care who you are. You're funny. You had to go do the crank of shame. Oh, that ain't no good. Doggone, look look who's coming before you gonna make a turn. Look at this Amazon Prime right up here. Doggone, he didn't want to mix that exit, did he? No, sir. He, he, he gonna wipe out the whole interstate just to make that exit right there. I, I'm telling you, that's what he would have done. He almost daggone did it. Hey, that ain't supposed to how you do it there, big time pork rival. Okay, that ain't supposed to how you do it. That ain't looking right. All right, listen, you probably weren't supposed to do that. All right, all right, I mean, doggone. Taking out the freaking guardrail while you're at it. Doggone, look at there. My God. Oh, man. Terrible situation. Terrible. I says terrible. Shouldn't have done that. Me anyway. This guy's thinking he's going. This is what we got over here in Texas. Got all these service roads. It's like, I'm going to get around this exit. Uh, or this, this traffic. Uh huh. I'm going to go run through the comedian and uh, look at you looking dumb. Look at this guy looking dumb. Swing wide. It's a freaking trailer. We got those shirts on boneheadtruckers.com, by the way. Just to remind these people. Because obviously. The message just ain't getting out. Is that Ron Pratt? No, it ain't Ron Pratt. No. Call a tow truck. What's with these guys with their freaking tandems almost all the way to the back? This guy's not all the way to the back, though. The doggone. So what are you supposed to swing wide to get up in there? But you didn't do it, did you? Now you're on bonehead truckers. <laughs> Quick in and out. <laughs> yep, not not today. <laughs> Not today. You're not quick getting in it out today. No, sir. Terrible situation, I say. That's what we got here. Oh, how do people get in this situation? How, I'm trying to figure it out. What do you try to do? Go and swimming? Like, how do you get in that situation? Tell me. You got to really try. Like, really hard to get right there. I mean, like, really hard. You gotta try. This guy right here, he's a freaking bonehead legend. Yeah? Now he's got his own shirt. You need to guy? Go to boneheadtruckers.com. Go get you one of these, because I wear it. So should you. You'll be famous. I know. That's 